to our first live stream from John Street United Methodist Church in Camden, Maine. I'm Pastor Michelle Wiley and welcome to our first live stream. Um, I hope to be offering these um, devotionals a couple of times a week um, while we are working through as a nation and as a congregation these trying times um, due to the coronavirus. My initial prayer and welcome are to those who are feeling anxiety and stress during this time. Um, and my, my sense of things is to call upon the peace and presence of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has always promised to be with us in any and all times of our lives. So in that, when you're reaching out to family or friends or even coming to these, um, these times of devotion, um, call in that spirit of Christ to be with you and to be with those who gather, to remember that you are always present with one another. Uh, let me start with what was Sunday's um, Psalm, and that is Psalm 95, and I am reading from our common English Bible translation of the scriptures. Come, let us sing out loud songs of joy to the Lord. Let's raise a joyful shout to the rock of our salvation. Let's come before him with thanksgiving. Let us shout songs of joy to him. The Lord is a great God, the great king over all other gods. The earth's depths are in his hands. The mountain heights belong to him. The sea which made him is his alone with the dry grounds which his own hands have formed. Come, let's worship and bow down. Let's kneel before the Lord, our maker. He is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the sheep in his hands. Let us pray. Holy and awesome God, we are here this day seeking your guidance, acknowledging that it is your power and it is your presence that has made all things, that gives us the strength to move through each and every day days of joy and days of sorrow, days of triumph and days of tragedy, days of knowing and days of unknowing. Be present with us at this time as we gather for prayer and thoughts and your urgings in our lives. Amen. So this is St. Patrick's Day and um, I just kind of wanted to use today as a day to practice this live streaming to um, encourage us to keep in touch with one another and to form community in ways that maybe we have not thought of forming community before here at john street um, so you know saint patrick had to walk all kinds of distances to create a sense of community in our lord jesus christ um, it wasn't an easy road and we all know that our lives take us over many types of journeys and travels. So, you know, by knocking on doors and 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 walking the wilderness of Ireland, St. Patrick created this wonderful opportunity for people to come to know Christ and to create its own community. And so here we are in our time of wilderness and in our time of sojourning into new places you know, we have this opportunity, like St. Patrick, to create community. Maybe it's time for us to remember how to use those telephones and to call and talk with one another. Um, it's time to uh, wave at one another from our windows uh, and to um, send handwritten notes. For those of you who are really tech savvy, you know, use those emails and use, um, private messaging and in ways to stay in touch with people um, and to remember those who are not tech savvy. You know, a handwritten letter or a note or a card or a telephone call could really make a difference in their lives. So let us do that as, as people of faith who are expanding our communities in this, this very um, different new thing that is happening in our lives. 
So here we are, St. Patrick's Day. Um, always brings to mind for me um, St. Patrick's breastplate, his prayer that that um, is attributed to him. Um, we we know quite a bit of that prayer, um, but there are parts of it that uh, many of us may not be aware of. So I would like to read portions of this um, extended prayer of St. Patrick's Matthew of um, breastplate, and um, and then we'll. Um, take a moment to offer up some intercessions. Um, and then I'll close with the most familiar part of St. Patrick's breastplate. It, it begins with, I bind unto myself today the strong name of the Trinity. By invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, I bind this today to me forever. By power of faith, Christ's incarnation, his baptism in the Jordan, his death on a cross for my salvation, his bursting from the spiced tomb, his riding up the heavenly way, his coming at the day of doom, I bind unto myself this day. I bind unto myself today the virtues of the starlit heaven, the glorious sun's life-giving rays, the whiteness of the moon at even, the flashing of the lightning free, the whirling winds, tempestuous shocks, the stable earth, the deep salt sea around the old eternal rocks. I bind unto myself today the power of God to hold and lead his eye to watch, his might to stay, his ear to hearken to my need, the wisdom of my God to teach, his hand to guide, his shield to wield, the word of God to give me speech, his heavenly host to be my God, against the demon snares of sin, the vice that tempts, forces, the natural lusts that war within, the hostile men that may my course, a few or many, far or nigh, in every place and in all hours against the fierce hostilities, these I bind unto myself, these holy powers. God is with us, these holy powers, St. Patrick reminds us of that promise that comes from the scriptures, both old and new, and thread their way through the Psalms. Find those scriptures that mean the most to you and pray with them daily. Let us lift up people in prayer. Holy God, whose spirit moved across the waters and drew out creation, hear our prayers this day. We pray for those who are spiritually thirsty, who long to know your presence, but don't know where to find you. We pray for those who are alone and without hope, those who long to feel needed and to feel loved, and those who are searching for meaning and purpose in their lives. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. We pray this day for all who are physically thirsty, who don't have enough water to drink or food to eat or are struggling with enough time to be present with others, whose fields are parched and whose crops have withered, those who walk long distances to find enough food or water, or those who are content with unclean water and unclean food. Have mercy on those persons, O Lord, and hear our prayer. We pray for those who are thirsty for justice, who long for an equal share of the resources among peoples and nations, those who put their lives at risk to protect streams and rivers and fields and crops, those who are working to find clean water clean vegetation, clean housing for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Oh Lord, we pray for those who find themselves in wilderness this day, who are wandering around looking for hope and strength in you. May you invite us to walk the journey with one another, to find each other in our own stark places, and to provide that sense of belonging wherever it is needed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are walking through the journey, whether it is of needed healing, physically, spiritually, or emotionally, that they may come to know that there is a steady hand and a steady prayer and a presence that will light the path for them to bring healing to them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for those who walk the journey through the valley of the shadow of death this day, may they find your presence and your light with them as they release from here and move on to your life and your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. In the presence of the saints of light, may they always shine. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we ask for your presence in our lives this day as we move forward and find our way to you. Grant us strength and courage, hope and new dreams as we traverse this wilderness into the place of your calling forth. We say and hear all prayers and lift them to you. And in one united presence, we lift up the prayer that Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever, amen. Thank you all for giving us a try and for um, being patient as we learn this new way of coming into your lives with the presence of Christ. Um, I, like I said, I'll try this a couple of times a week. We'll post when we're going to come on. Um, eventually, we'll add some music to this as we um, find out what songs we can use. And, um, and I'll practice seeing your comments and responding to them as we move forward. Grace, peace, and healing to you all. Let us end with the ending of St. Patrick's Breastplate. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ within me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger. I bind unto myself the name of the strong name of the Trinity by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, by whom all nature hath creation. Eternal Father, Spirit, Word, praise to the Lord of my salvation, for salvation is of Christ our Lord. Grace and peace. Amen.